Hey. So if you guys watched my video yesterday, so you probably know already. So what I'm gonna do today. I already take the seat out and so today I'm gonna try to fit a new seat belt for my RX7 at the driver's side. And at the same time I'm gonna remove the rear seat belt components for the subjugate reason. So and so this one is the seat belt I'm going to install today. So and before I do the installation, so I, I'm going to read through the instruction to make sure I did it everything correct way. And so this, it's all about safety, right? And also you can see here, I already put the another seatbelt buckle for the right seat, so on a side panel. And so I also heard some some people say so you cannot. Put the seat belt on the seat uh, on the seat rails. Yeah, uh, because I also checked the information on the LVTA. So they said, uh, so basically you need to uh, mount the seat belt buckle on the floor. So you got to drill a hole and use a plate to mount the seat belt buckle on the floor. But there is also some exception because. Uh, I asked about one. I asked one certifier. So he said, uh, if your seat and also the seat rail is made by the reputable manufacturer, like a Bright or any other Recaro, so if they can pass the certificate, like a safety certificate, so it should be no problem to pass the another certification. But we'll see, we'll see, because I also need to uh, drive the car to the certifier to do the final check. So if it passed, so that's good. If not, another solution is to to mount this on the floor. But but the certifier said it so should be okay to pass at the moment. Yeah, like that. So let's get started and to have a look. You can see the warning here. So where possible, I have simply a seam saw by the mechanic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to open some panel. So you can see there's a couple of panel you need to remove. And uh, so I will see if I'm confident enough to install this by myself. So if you find it's very complicated, I'll probably just uh, book a time with a CBL specialist. So I'll send to install for me but we'll see so I'm gonna open it and I think I'm confident enough to remove the seatbelt but to install I need to have a check because it looks okay but yeah you just need to have a check see what's going on yeah so we just remove the panel first What I think next time I'm gonna try to polish this again. As you can see, there's too many scratches by the previous owner in Japan. And I'm gonna polish it, probably make it a little bit matte silver finish. So, and sometimes you can see so the old screw. So sometimes make you nuts. So you can't turn it. You can turn it and you can also, I can also lift this, but whenever I, uh, how, how much I turn, so it just won't come off. So I'll probably just leave it here and because I can already access to here. So I just leave it temporarily here to open the panel. And the next step is you have to, to remove the rubber seal first. Compound. Yeah. Yeah. 
and before you force to put the panel out so it's better to have a carefully look so what's the structure inside especially some clips so you don't want to so you don't want to broke the clips while you put this thing out as you can see here it looks like a so there's one I'm not sure Mm, there's one clip here. It's hard to really hard to focus. Yeah, I think there's a couple of clips. Yeah. Yeah. Um, once you figure out what's the best way to put the panel out, so you can start to do it and do it slowly. Yeah. So I. So you see what I'm talking about. So you can see the clips. So it's like a not very sure, not very common design. So if you put put this out, you have a great chance to break the old plastic clips. So you have to be really careful and to find out the correct way to pull the panel out. So I need to sort out. Most of the clips. Yeah, so this is a sea bell up the mouth. Uh, oh, I probably don't need that. The subwoofer. There's one more thing here. So you need to remove this. And you can open another side. Yeah, I almost forgot. Washer here. Mm. And you also need to remove the lower mount. There are also some other clips here. Look back. So this whole panel is definitely definitely not that easy to remove. And you also need to be patient. You just need to do it slow and do it right. Don't forget to put this in a safer place so later you can find it. from outside so you just need to we just need to pull this thing out the light went off again you can see even though I'm really careful already, I still need a tiny crack. Okay, so here's a hidden clip, not that easy to see. See there? Mm. Yeah. So after you remove the. I'm gonna show you. Once you get the cover out, so you can see there's a couple of clips, one here, so some of them are already missing. And then you can see the, the 
factory with a sort of driver's side, so you got off time. Yeah, so the, the retractor is behind the the little stereo sub subwoofer. I'll possibly remove this the big panel out so you can see what's inside here. So this one is a real rear seat belt and retractors. This one for the front driver's seat belt. So I recommend it's better to take some photos or videos. So just in case uh, when you want to, when you have trouble and you want to restore them back, uh, just restore them. So you're gonna have a clue how to install them together again. So I just need to have a quick look to see if I'm confident enough to do it. So far it's, it looks okay for me. I just need to remove this, get some bracket, and get the retractor out, and put a new one back, and fit them in the correct angle. Yeah, I'll try to do it. Mm. Yeah, still put everything every screw bolt in the same place so you don't lose that Bracket is probably someone put this in using when they because this seat belt is not the OEM seat belt. We, uh, when I talked yesterday about the the seat belt uh, for the airbag car, so as you can see, if I pull, so when the belt is locked, but if I give it more force. You can see this thing is still still moving. Yeah, it's still moving, so it's not fully locked. Uh, so you can imagine, so, so for example, if you hit any cars in the front and the seat belt locked and it's still moving for another couple of inches or centimeters, so but you, you have the the market seat, uh, off the market steering wheel, so it's definitely not that good. But apparently, you don't want anything, anything bad, any bad thing happening in your life, but you need to get prepared. So, okay, let's stop talking, and uh, so I will remove this and get a retractor out, and also the rear seat belt. So everything is almost done this side. Yep, so a few minutes, so I already removed the factory seat belt, the tractor. So, so the real one is coming up. Right. All good. So, easy. Mm, not too hard. All you need to do is just to figure out how to put a new one on. Uh, I'll possibly still use the bracket. I need to remove the bracket. What I need to do now is to put the bracket back on the. There's no back on, it's on the new Webflame seat belt retractor. And mount on the frame, the hole here. And just put everything back together. The upper mount, the lower mount. Yep. Now I already put the retractor in the correct location and also the angle. Yeah. You have to make sure the the seat belt is moving freely and and it's locking in the proper way. Yeah, that's fine. And also for the nuts. So 
do to check the torque spec. 20, 30 foot pound of torque, 35, 40 newton meters. So uh, this one's very important, so you, you don't want anything loose again. Now it's very simple, so we just need to mount the upper mount here and get a panel back in. And if we feel you can actually use the old one if you want and or use this as a reference to see how to so what kind of washer you need to use. Also this one apparently is a walking washer for the nuts. So okay, let's do it. I'm gonna use a new one, so yeah, so our mount is good. Make sure it's moving freely. Also the torque spec is correct. It seems pretty good to me. And I also make sure so so the belt is not rubbing on the, the sharp edges. So here it's, it's okay. Okay, so it's time to put everything back on. Yeah. And another small carrier to put the cover back on. So everything is lined up pretty well. But so here comes the other, other really fussy. So I don't know why. Can you see, there is a hole there. I don't know why this thing just don't want to go through there. Everywhere is lined up. Hmm. So I made a decision to cut this. Yeah, there's a reason because I think if you want to install this properly you might have to remove the whole seat under here so that's an issue for me right now but as long as the panel will stay so that's good for me tight and also some something I don't like master so it's like they always want to make everything so complicated because this panel here inside, I think at least 10 clips. So no, no matter how carefully you do, you will definitely break one or two. And you can see I break this small piece here. Uh, but right now it doesn't really matter. Now I can just find a... Yeah. I might as well open it again to get some super glue. Or just throw it away because I, I don't really care about the back. Yeah. Now it's done, so I just need to put the seat back and mount the lower lower steering uh, lower seat belt mount. So it's all good to go. I also noticed uh, that could be another way to uh, fit your seatbelt. I'm gonna give it a try. So, see how it goes. It's like, I'm not 100% I'm not sure if it's legal or not, but it feels more comfortable to sit in the car. Mm. Anyways, I will give it a try. If it's okay, I'm gonna also do the passenger side like this so done so that's everything today it's been a few hours job yeah if, if i done it properly so it should be all right mm. i'm gonna go to a short spin because uh, not last time i not, not also noticed my steering wheel is not that straight because i need to move uh to the adjustment on the 
position again. Just make sure it's straight. And to test if the seat belt is comfortable like this. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hope the video helps someone. And because I didn't notice, uh, probably I didn't see anyone trying to replace the seat belt on the RX-7 FD on YouTube. So hopefully this video will help. And if you have any questions or uh, different opinions on the fitment, so please leave a comment below. Otherwise, so stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoy the day and see you next time.